I've recently come across a newer product that has piqued my interest big time. And whenever my interest is piqued, I think to myself, if I'm interested in it, Dirt Tracks viewers probably will be as well. And I wanna share it with you. The new product is called Tire Jacked, and it's used for fixing flats in side-by-side -side and ATV tires. As you can imagine, we do get a lot of flats around here at Dirt Tracks, from your standard sidewall pinch flat, to tread punctures from sharp rocks or roots, to that mystery flat caused by who knows what from who knows where. There've been a lot of flat repair products come and go around here, but before I go into why Tire Jacked is so different and why I'm so enthusiastic about it, let's first take a look at how it works. This tire has both a sidewall puncture and a tread puncture. Ordinarily, we'd probably just trash this tire, but it's fairly young and it's part of a set, so we don't wanna junk it. Instead, we're gonna try fixing it. Naturally, all the air is already out of this tire, so we're gonna open up the tire jack pouch and grab the hose that's used for connecting the injector to the tire's valve stem. The first thing you'll notice about tire jack is that it's very thin and watery. It's almost the consistency of milk. If you've used other tire repair products in the industry, you've probably noticed that they're very thick and gooey, almost gel-like. To be perfectly honest, when we first tried Tire Jack, we were pretty skeptical that something this thin could plug a hole in a tire at all, but the company claims it can actually plug holes up to 3 8 of an inch in diameter. Sounds pretty impossible, doesn't it? Mixed in with the milky stuff are DuPont Kevlar fibers, and as the Tire Jack coats the inside of the tire, gravity and air pressure forces the liquid into the puncture and the fibers clot together to fill the leak. This brings up another thing we really like about this product. Those other gel-like substances only temporarily fix a flat and they make changing the tire when it's time to replace it a pain because the gooey substance coats the inside of the rim and it's just a mess to clean up. Not only do you use a lot less of the tire jack sealant itself, but it's also water soluble. So it doesn't make a mess of the inside of the tire or the rim and it doesn't cause an imbalance when the tire's rotated. When I said less, I really meant it. You only need about 10 ounces of tire jack per standard ATV tire up to a 27 by nine. There's a chart you can check over to make sure you've got the right amount for the size of tire you're fixing, but 10 ounces is less than half of what you'd need compared to other kinds of repair solutions. Less liquid means the tire will have less clumping inside and will balance out much smoother. Also, because Tire Eject is so thin, it does a more thorough job of coating the inside of the tire, which is really important when you're trying to fix a sidewall flat. The first step in applying Tire Eject is to attach the supplied hose to the valve stem after having already removed the valve core. Then you inject 10 ounces of liquid into the tire. Next, remove the hose, replace the valve, and put a few pounds of air pressure in the tire. It's important to rotate or drive on the tire slowly so the sealant can fully coat the inside of the tire and find the leak. If you have a sidewall puncture, you need to tip the tire on its side so the sealant can coat the area where the leak is located. After rotating the tire, you'll see the white tire jack sealant coming through the hole to the outside of the tire. Don't worry if it drips through the puncture a bit on the outside. This is completely normal and it's merely allowing the tire jack to collect enough of the fibrous material in it to plug the hole. Rotate the inflated tire a few times to make sure the inside is coated and sealed. You might also see bubbles coming out of the hole along with the solution sometimes. This is good because it means the air pressure is forcing more fiber into the hole. In a few seconds, the bubbling will stop, which means the hole is plugged and repaired. If you're fixing a large puncture and a lot of sealant bled out during the repair, it's not a bad idea to pump in a few more ounces just to top off what's inside the tire. Doing this will ensure that any punctures you do get while riding will seal themselves up automatically. It'll also help take care of any rim or bead leaks you may have that you didn't even know about. Now with your tire completely sealed, you can set the tire to the manufacturer's recommended tire pressure and drive away. TireJack also offers a tire protection kit so you can pre-install the solution in all four of your tires before you have a puncture. Doing this gives you one full year of protection from punctures and in the long run makes tremendous sense. I'm just gonna come right out and say this. This is the best tire repair system I've ever used. It's easy to install and it's super effective at repairing everything from pinch flats on your sidewall to tread punctures. It'll even seal up nasty bead leaks along the edge of the tire bead. But I think the thing I like most about Tire Jack is that it can save you the cost of replacing a tire. And saving money on repairs to spend on other fun stuff is always a good thing.
Thanks for watching this Dirt Track segment. Make sure you hit the subscribe button where you can watch pretty much anything related to ATV and side-by-sides.